Hi friends, good afternoon. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So this is Manju here and I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I am going to discuss with you latest Informatica ETL testing questions and answers. Okay, so these are nowadays interviewer may ask you in this uh, ETL testing and uh, SQL developer or you can say about Informatica, the questions and answers. Uh, these are most important and the latest questions and answers. So kindly watch complete video so you will understand the proper answers here so before starting the video if you are not subscribed to sql master youtube channel kindly subscribe to uh, the sql master so you will get more videos on this regard so let us start the video here so these are the things what i made slides here that is i am going to show you in this video so the first question is what you did in your recent project so this is most obvious question that interviewer may ask you as I worked in retail domain project in which the client was that is you have to mention here client name sells grocery items. So as OLTP records are stored in the data warehouse every day these uh, there we need to check customer records and items purchased amount how much items sold per day how much maximum items sold on particular date and whether these records are successfully stored in uh, data warehouse or not and we have to do higher level validations like uh, record count metadata structure validation record count validation uh, group by clause uh, duplicate check that is null value check and also using minus query we have to do validations high level validations so coming to next question what database you used and the size i used here oracle database and the size is of uh, from 500 gb to 2 tb and 10, 10 million data weekly basis okay so it contains 10 million data on weekly basis so what is bottleneck in query so this is very important question here oracle database performs problems can often be attributed to bottlenecks this is where the data has to uh, traverse a process or route that increases response time by forcing traffic to slow down so due to the processes in uh, ability to move the data expediently okay so this is what the answer for this question so moving to next question if sql query is running slow what you do to find the issue okay so general uh, and ex actual execution plan monitor resource usage use the database engine tuning advisor find slow queries with sql dmvs run the query plan okay so the then it's uh, gives the details like cost of query then observe whether it's full table scan or index scan checking driving table also so uh, if indexes are good so you can go for index scan also so this is what the answer for this question and have you ever been supported in production department or just worked in development department so you have to say as i worked in enhancement project using sdlc that is software development life cycle there it goes like uh, requirement and design and build and then later testing and then the production and then support okay where ca I, ca I worked in support team also like uh, where we used special tools like service now and land desk so next question is what exactly you did in informatica challenges in informatica basically i used to different kinds of transformations and tested whether data is loaded in data warehouse properly or not and also i used the various kinds of transformations like joiner transformation router transformation aggregate transformation expression transformations okay these all transformation i used and sometimes and while running workflows if i get errors then i go to the log sessions and fix those errors caused due to the several reasons like sometimes database is down so or sometimes network issues okay so after fixing this issues again i have to use for running the workflows to get the output so this is what the thing uh, the challenges i face in informatica so then next question is difference between aggregator and router so basically aggregator works on aggregate functions like average sum count and aggregates the data similarly like a group by clause in sql okay so but router can make different data groups if condition not met then also retrieve the data in router transformation so this is what the difference between aggregator and router transformations so how big is your data warehouse how many tables and rows present in your data warehouse so data warehouse is of 2 tb and we have 5 million records on weekly basis 
eight fact tables and 15 dimensions table and 1 million rows in dimensions table and 5 million records in fact table. You have to just say the answer like this and what kind of unique scripts you created in your project. So you could say that I have already predefined unique script and I used that script to create archived data and later we used to delete older data using the unique script also. So this is what the answer for this question and moving to next one what you know about cloud technology. So nowadays this question is common because the interviewer or company may want to know that only ETL testing you did or some somewhat knowledge you have about cloud technologies. So as I know AWS cloud, cloud technology that Amazon web services so as to store the on premise data center uh, to cloud data center which uses many services like S3 buckets to store the files Amazon Redshift to perform ETL service using Python plugin called PySparse and etc. So many are there out 53 and many more are there. Okay, you have to uh, tell these answers for this question. Okay, what do you know about Snowflake? Snowflake is cloud data warehouse that can store and analyze all your data records in one place. It can automatically scale up down its compute resources to load integrate and analyze the data. Snowflake is cloud hosted relational database for building data warehouses. It's uh, built on AWS Azure and Google Cloud platforms and combines functionalities of traditional databases with a suite of new and creative capabilities. It is unique in how it addresses businesses changing needs. Okay, let us move to the next question. How do you run workflow in Informatica? running workflow after you creating a workflow containing a session you can run it to move the data from source to the target verify the workflow is open in the workflow designer in the workflow manager right click the workflow start workflow you can also right click on the workflow in the navigator and select start workflow the workflow monitor opens and connects the repository and opens the tutorial folder and then uh, the following image uh, shows that the workflow monitor navigator here you can just observe here the then uh, Gantt chart tab work click the Gantt chart tab at the bottom of the time window to verify workflow monitor is in the Gantt chart view in the navigator expand the node for the workflow all tasks in the workflow appear in the navigator so you can observe this diagram carefully that you will get the uh, information here. So moving to next slide that is you can schedule a workflow run continuously repeat a given time or interval or you can manually start the workflow in the workflow designer open the workflow click workflows edit and uh, click scheduler tab select the non reusable to create a non reusable set of schedule settings for workflow or select reusable to select an existing reusable scheduler for the workflow. Click right side of the scheduler field to edit scheduling settings for the scheduler. If you select reusable, choose reusable scheduler from the scheduler browser dialog box. Click OK. So the next question is how do you use schedule tools in Informatica? In Informatica, scheduling tools are used to automate the execution of workflows or tasks at specified intervals. Here are gen the general steps for using scheduling tools in Informatica creating a workflow. First you need to create a workflow that includes the tasks you want to automate. You can create workflows using workflow manager tool. Configure a scheduling tool. Once you have created a workflow you need to configure the scheduling tool to run the workflow at the desired intervals. Informatica provides several scheduling tools such as Informatica scheduler, the window task scheduler and the Unix cron utility. So set the scheduling parameters that is depending on the scheduling tools you use to choose. You may need to set various parameters such, such as start time, frequency and duration of the schedule. You may also need to specify workflow and environment in which it should run monitor and manage the schedule after the schedule is set up you can monitor and manage it using scheduling tools interface you can view the status of workflow runs and modify the schedule as needed 
Overall, using scheduling tools in Informatica can help you to automate repetitive tasks and improve the efficiency of your data integration processes. So the next question is difference between workflow from beginning and workflow from session. So in Informatica, workflow is a set of instructions that describes how to execute a series of tasks such as data integration, transformations and loading. There are two main ways to create a workflow in Informatica. Workflow from beginning and workflow from session. Workflow from beginning. This approach allows you to create a new workflow and then add tasks to and sessions to it. You can start uh, by defining the workflow properties such as its name, description and connections to the source and target systems. Then you can add tasks such as session tasks, command tasks and email tasks so to the workflow and configure their properties this approach is useful when you want to create a new workflow from scratch and build it step by step so workflow from session this approach allows you to create a workflow a new workflow by importing an existing session or a group sessions when you create a workflow from session you can select one or more sessions that have already been created and reuse them in new workflow this approach is useful when you want to reuse a session that has already been configured and you want to include it in a new workflow along with other sessions and tasks. In summary, the main difference between workflow from beginning and workflow from session is that the former allows you to create a new workflow from scratch and add tasks and sessions to it, while the latter allows you to create a new workflow by reusing existing sessions. Both approaches are useful in different scenarios and choice depends on your specific needs and preferences. So next question is after creating mapping and session, how do you deploy in production? So after creating a mapping and sessions in Informatica, deploying it in production involves the following steps. Creating a deployment package. The first step is to create a deployment package that includes all the required files for the mapping and session. This package should include the mapping file, session file, workflow file and any other dependencies that are required for the mapping to run successfully in the production environment. Test the deployment package. Before deployment package to production, it is essential to test the it is non-production environment to ensure that it works as expected. The testing should include the running of the workflow and verifying that it produces the expected results. So uh, move to the deployment package to production environment. Once the deployment package has been tested and verified, it can be moved to the production environment. This can be done through various methods such as FTP, SCP or the other secure file transfer protocol. Deploy the package in the production environment after the package has been moved to the production environment. It can be deployed by importing it into the Informatica repository. This can be done through the workflow manager or deployment manager tool. Configure the production environment. After the package has been deployed, it may necessary to configure the production environment to ensure that the mapping and session run correctly. This may involve configure connection, setting up parameters and tuning performance. Monitor and maintain the production environment. Finally, it is important to monitor and maintain the production environment to ensure that the mapping and session continue to run smoothly. This may involve setting up alerts, logging errors and tuning performance as needed. Overall, the deploy Deploying a mapping and session in production requires careful planning and testing to ensure that it runs smoothly in the production environment. By following these steps, you can deploy your mappings and sessions with confidence and minimize the risk of errors in or downtime. So the next question is, do you know version control? Yes, I am familiar with version control. The version control is a system that manages changes to the files and software over the time. It is used to keep track of the change made to code, documentation and other files 
and allows multiple people to work on the same file simultaneously without overwriting each other the changes. So there are two main types of version control, centralized and distributed. The centralized version control systems such as uh, subversion have a central repository that stores the latest version of the files. Developers can check out the files from the repository, make changes and then commit their changes back to the repository. Distributed version control system such as a git and the mercurial allows each developer to have their own local copy of repository which they can use to work on these files independently. Changes can then be merged back to the main repository with when they are completed. So version control system provide many benefits such as version history. Version control systems allows you to keep track of the changes file over the time and so uh, you can see uh, who made changes and when. Collaboration. Version control systems allow multiple people to work on the same files simultaneously without overwriting each other changes. Branching and merging. Version control systems allow you to create branches of files which can be used to work on the new features and experimental changes without affecting the main code base. Branches can then be merged back into the main collab, main code base when they are complete and rollbacks. Then rollbacks. So that is version control systems allows rollback to previous versions of files if something goes wrong. Overall, the version control is a powerful tool for managing the changes to files, software and is widely used in software development and the other industries. So these are some questions and answers friends. So these are very important and these are latest questions and answers in ETL testing and informatica. So kindly go through the complete video so you will get understand properly and I will be with you with some more questions and answers. Okay till that bye bye have a nice day take care friends.